Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Here we are with another video uh, trying to bring you up to date on uh, what's been going on with us and uh, I think we're going to start with uh, uh, Kingman, um, Arizona. Which was last weekend. Right. We stayed in Kingman on Friday and Saturday mm -hmm. of last weekend. It's been a whole week since then. So um, the, the whole route that we've gone from Kingman up until today, and, and right now we are in Wellington, Kansas, and that whole route is actually parallel to the old Route 66, 66. that travels, that went across the country. Yeah, coast to coast. So there's so there was so much to see on Route 66. <laughs> but in Kingman, we actually... Um, Route 66 actually went up to an old gold mine town. Mm -hmm. And it was the town that requested that Route 66 go through there. It was actually in the, the gold rush time. So we took that Route 66 road and it was windy and... <laughs> Unbelievable. We had the car. You couldn't take the RV. We had the car. Yeah. But it was such an interesting ride. <clears throat> And we'll post some of the pictures that we took. And we went to a town called Oatman, which was a gold mining town, and then it shut down and now actually um, it is like a ghost town but actually the gold mines are reopened again with the price of gold being so high right they had closed the mines and now they're reopened again and so mm -hmm. they are they are digging for gold up there we have pictures of that too we're headed to Oatman Arizona <laughs> which is an old mining town this is the road. Speed limit's 20 miles an hour. Wow. Quite the road, but quite the scenery also. It's an old ghost town from what we understand. Old mining town. Old mining town. A lot of gold mines there. They closed them down in the 1990s because the price of gold was so low, but now since the price of gold has gone up, they've opened the mines again. Went so, from a population of 10,000 people back in the day to about 100 people today. So we thought we'd check it out. Get off the, get off the big highway and get into the, some real back, uh, back roads. This is actually the old Route 66. Historic Route 66. Wow. So Right, so we spent a couple hours in Oatman that was really kind of different. Um, they have wild uh, uh, donkeys running around uh, uh, begging for food. Uh, we have plenty of pictures of those. Uh, they had a uh, um, shootout. A shootout, yeah, um, in 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 town, and uh, just a just a lot. Of, it was just a fun fun day. It was a, a beautiful day. But uh, we'll show you some pictures of that. Nice day for a drive. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So then when we left Kingman, we left Kingman on, on um, Sunday morning and drove to Williams, Arizona. And we stayed at a KOA there in Williams, and, and we're finding out that the KOA campgrounds are very nice. Very and nice. we're enjoying staying at them mm -hmm. as we go. On Monday, we went to the Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. 
we Williams was about an hour from the Grand Canyon so we took that time and and drove up and of course it was spectacular yeah, it was a beautiful day just a absolutely gorgeous day we couldn't have asked for anything better the day before was 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 cloudy and the day after we went was cloudy um, but the day we were there it was just picture perfect yeah it was it was amazing we walked a couple miles three four miles yeah, um, yeah. along the rim there was a trail that went right along the southern rim of the canyon it had snowed um, a couple days prior so there was a little bit of snow left on the ground and and in the trees and it was it was just beautiful mm -hmm. we had left um, the south rim trail and we were walking another trail to a building we weren't too far down the trail and we actually were like oh All of and a sudden. <laughs> there was a a cow elk yeah. Just feeding off a tree right Could there beside the trail. Could have been more than 20 feet away from us. Uh, just just eating and, and uh, meandering around. Didn't care whether we were there or not. Um, and we have, we have a couple of pictures of that. And then we, we uh, um, walked a little, a little further and saw another one. And then we saw another one. Um, so three elk. In probably a hundred yards, so it was it was quite yeah, amazing. They, was, they could have cared cool. less whether we were there, and we were the only two on that trail. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. The other trails, there was a lot of people. The yeah. parking lots were full, and and there was a, a lot of people. But as always, the Grand Canyon was was spectacular. Mm -hmm. We left Williams on Wednesday, and we were traveling to um, Gallup, New Mexico. On the way to Gallup, still in Arizona, we stopped at um, Meteor Crater, which mm -hmm. was, it was really something to see. Yeah, it, was, it was really great to see. It was, it was an amazing sight where this meteor had hit Earth. Um, I'm not even sure how long ago, uh, 55,000 years ago or something like that. And then they actually had to prove uh, that, that it was a meteor as opposed to a vol volcanic action. Um, and uh, they they went through that uh, that scenario, um, and so uh, it was a mile across, two and a half, two and miles, and a half miles around, around and five hundred and fifty feet deep. Correct. Yeah. And we were really glad that we stopped yeah. to see that because it was it was really something to see. And again, it was a, a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. And in the same day as we traveled on on Interstate Forty, we came to the Petrified Forest, mm -hmm. and it was it was awesome mm -hmm. as well and i had been there once before and it was still just as awesome unless you don't unless you know the the history of all this you really don't it doesn't make a any it's no big deal but if well, you know the history it just it is just amazing. It's just amazing. So the for petrified forest was a forest at one time. Um, the trees were 200 feet tall. And for whatever reason, it became an ocean and the trees were buried in the water. And of course, minerals and things crystallized on the trees and encased the trees. And now they are petrified. And the colors of, of these trees were just absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we got out and took a walk there. Captain was glad to get out and he could walk <laughs> as well. Mm -hmm. And then as we traveled through the park, um, the back side of the park is part of the Painted Desert. And that was just one scene after another. Yeah, one vista after another. Yeah. Up over a hill and, oh, there's something new. Oh, there's something new. <laughs> It was really, really incredible. So I hope you enjoy the pictures, and I know that they don't, they don't um, do it justice. Yeah, exactly. But um, I hope you do, you do enjoy them. And so then we ended up that night in Gallup, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. We tried a new um, 
venue to, to park all night. <laughs> we parked in a, a casino parking lot. And it was a small casino, a Navajo um, Indian nation. And we went in and they had a food court. So usually when we stay in a parking lot, we like to go in and go, if it's Walmart, we go in and go shopping. So of course it's a casino. So we went in to have dinner, dinner. which was really good. <laughs> if you know me at all, you know that I like fried dough. And I had a pork sandwich on fried dough. Evidently the Navajos like what they call fry bread. Fry bread? Yeah, yeah fry, fry bread. bread. Mm -hmm. And it was absolutely amazing. So it made my day. And then we put a couple of bucks into a machine and played for a little bit, but didn't win anything, which was fine. And went back to our, went back to our humble abode in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Which had 24 seven security. So that was, that was cool too. Mm -hmm. That yeah. was just a plus. Yeah. That was just a plus. So that was on, what night would have that have been? Wednesday night? Wednesday night. Yeah. Right. That was Wednesday night. Mm-hmm. So we're going to leave it off here so that we can add some photos and maybe a couple videos and then um, we'll pick it up shortly with the rest of our trip to get us caught up to Wellington, Kansas. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so hope you enjoy it. Um, um, again, if you have any comments, leave them in the, in the box below. Uh, like like the, uh, the video if you like it and uh, let us know uh, your thoughts. So, uh, okay, well... Thanks for looking at, at our video, and uh, we'll be back soon. Okay. Okay? Love you all. Love you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.